Let's get to it. And let's start off with Weston McKenney. As Damasio said last night that Tottenham are interested in signing Weston McKenney as Fabio Paratici really likes the player. Mm -hmm. But Romano followed on from that and says McKenney is not a priority for Tottenham. And Miguel Delaney this morning has says Tottenham have spoken to Juventus about the signing of Weston McKenney and repeated sources now feel a move may be possible for under 40 million. So. He, did, he did go on to say that a swap deal with Ndombele was mooted, but um, Juventus prefer a straight sale. Mm. They um, must need the cash. That, that's the only... Um... Again, a player I want, a player who could definitely be improvement on Tottenham. Um, I think, a, a, again, it would be an exciting signing if we were to sign him, but we're not going to sign him unless Ndombele goes. That's the truth. We're just not. Yeah. We're not going to sign him unless Ndombele goes. So I agree. I, I think, again, it's another one which can be exciting, but... It's hard to get excited because I don't think it's, re it's a reality. Everything's always so conditional with Tottenham. Mm -hmm. Everything. This isn't even one that's like, I don't even think this one's like conditional on Sissoko. I think this one's purely conditional on Ndombele because of the price we're talking about. Yeah. You know, we're not going to sell Sissoko for 5 million and splash 45 million on McKenney. We're only going to splash then, that and money. And spend 40 million on Traore yeah. as well, right? We're yeah. only going to splash that money on a centre mid if Ndombele goes because that's, you know, we get 50, 50 million for Ndombele and we spend 45 on McKenney. That's how I can naturally see it happening. I don't see it happening any other way. So, unfortunately, I think this one probably, as much, until Ndombele Ndombele goes is a non-starter. Yeah, and I can't really see Ndombele going. No, at this rate, there's no serious talk about or, or bids about him. I get the feeling with Ndombele, um, as much as um, I'm unhappy with how he's um, pretty much wasted this whole summer wanting to leave and, and you know, going um, and saying to Spurs he wants to leave. Um, I get the feeling his, the, his main gripe was with potentially previous management and Nuno could still him get him back on side if mm. he does stay. I do get that feeling. But it's still I, I, he shouldn't need to get him on side is it my doesn't, point. It doesn't seem great at the moment. Nuno doesn't seem to be able to get him on side at the moment. He hasn't been in time in, no, in one match No, because the window's open. Because the window's open, he wants to leave. But I think once the window closes, I think there is a chance he could get him back on side. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm feeling. I get that. Um, but... He shouldn't need to get more we'll getting back on side. Newton Dombele shouldn't be wanting out right now. He should be knuckling down and getting ready for the season. And the fact that he's not doing that doesn't bode well. But, you know, and we have to just deal with the situation. And unfortunately, I think the situation probably will be he stays and we, we try and get the best out of him. That's what, that's what I think will probably happen. Mm. <laughs>